favorite time of the year. Makes all the more sense then, doesn't it? However, love, I'm sorry. Um, second thoughts, you better count me out. Are you tired? Did you have a long night? No. The long days that start to screw me up. Then I know just the thing. You mean quit the whole business and travel the earth like Luke and Laura? No, I had something a little less long term in mind. Uh. Let's go ice skating. Can't you take the afternoon off? Well, you know me. I mean, I'd take the entire week off if I thought I could get away with it. But firstly, I doubt that headquarters would be too happy. And secondly, I'm sure they'd find me before I even got my skates dusted off. You know what they're like. But you're the boss. Couldn't you order yourself to take the day off? Look at this mess, will you? I'm up to here with it. Well, remember we have lunch with Grant and Celia. We have to meet them at the rim. Ah, yeah. My one bright spot of the day. Hello? Holly, it's Celia. Oh, Robert and I were just talking about you. You're not going to cancel lunch, are you? No, no, no. But could we change restaurants? I don't see why not. Uh, where would you like to eat? Well, if it's all right with you and Robert, I thought maybe we could meet at Kelly's instead of at the Rib. Fine. Good. Grant has to meet Jake at Kelly's. Well, about the hearing. Yes. It's uh, coming up soon, isn't it? That's right. It's tomorrow. I just pray Jake has some good news. And also, Grant has to uh, check on some patients down at the waterfront, so in case he gets tied up, it'd probably be smarter if we could meet down there. It sounds as if he's keeping busy. What else can he do? <laughs> Anything to keep his mind off Albany. Well, Robert and I will do our best to keep him occupied over lunch. Thanks. Well, see you later at Kelly's, then. Uh, see you. What? What about you? How are you holding up? Holly, I could be very happy being Grant's wife, even if he wasn't a doctor. But I'm not sure he could survive that. And I'm scared to death for him. Rose has a pot of Irish stew simmering in back. May I bring you a bowl? No, not now. Well, if you change your mind, give me a shout, okay? I will, thank you. Hi. Robert, Holly, how are you? Please have a seat. Where's Celia? What do you mean, where's Celia? She, she's not here. Not yet. She thought you'd be the one who was late for our lunch. Our lunch? I wasn't aware we had a lunch. Get this guy, will you? I break all my important appointments for the day. He doesn't even have the decency to remember why I broke him. I, I'm sorry. I remember we, I remember we did have a lunch. I've just had a lot on my mind. I apologize. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, considering the fact that my last hope of retaining my license to practice medicine just went flying out the window, I'm, I'm doing remarkably well. What's this? Jake heard from the DVX. Is that Dr. Porchenko? Yeah, my esteemed colleague, Dr. Porchenko. What did he say? Oh, he cooperated fully with the authorities. People tend to do that when they have a gun held to their heads. What happened? I don't know. It would seem that the DVX got to Porchenko. Lord knows what they did to the poor man. They obviously threatened him or his family or both. What makes you say that? Because Porchenko said exactly what the DVX instructed him to say. His official position is that I flunked out of pre-med. But that's not true. That does make a bit of difference, Celia. We're talking about the land of the DVX. The truth is what the DVX wants it to be. What's this mean in terms of your future? Shoots the hell out of me. It had some bearing on the hearing? Holly Porchenko was the last hope I had. He was the last chance I had to hang on to my license. No, no, he's not the last chance. 
Well, either you know something I don't do, you're trying to make a... a bad situation look better than it is. No, I'm just telling it like it is. You've lost some support, true. But you don't know how the board is going to react. I have a very good idea, Celia. And it's not a... not a damn thing I can do about it. What about Jake? <laughs> Jake gave it his best shot. Unfortunately, that was not good enough. Not unless he can pull off a miracle in Albany. Where is he? I thought you were meeting him here before lunch. It was a very short meeting. What do you mean? Jake and Rose were called away. It had something to do with Lou. What happened? Apparently, she disappeared. When? I don't know. Rose just said that she never came home last night. Jake called the police, and the police located her this morning with some man. Not Blackie? I don't know. I don't know the whole story, Robert. I just... I just know they were both frantic. When the call came, they left. I suppose that they're picking her up at the station right now. He was right. Pachanko was not your only hope. <clears throat> oh, what else, then? Your record as a doctor. Oh, that's worth a hell of a lot. Your obvious affinity for the profession. Look, Jake, let's face facts. You're as, you're as aware as I am. The board is not concerned with my aptitude. They're concerned with my credentials. That's true. If the board was concerned with his ability, there wouldn't even be a hearing. Absolutely, but that doesn't mean we can't appeal to the board's humanity. Let's and not I... forget they're doctors, too. All right, how do we do that? I want to stress the intangibles. Our hope is that the board will overlook the training that we can't document and focus on the, the uh, practice itself. We're only asking for a reasonable doubt. Is that all? Well, basically, your record speaks for itself, Grant. All we have to do is try to get them to listen. Oh, and don't mention Prochenko, whatever you do. You didn't have to tell me that. I mean, if the board even suspects that you flunked out, it's over, whether it's true or not. Yeah. All right. Well, this game plan of yours sounds fine. How are you going to approach these men? I am going to do everything I possibly can to make them face one fact, that you are one superb doctor, a man who has dedicated his life to medicine, one who will even do volunteer work just to be able to continue healing people. Do you think that'll work? The medical profession cannot afford to lose a doctor like you, Grant. I can't believe the board will let that happen. I can't either. Jack, look, is there something that I can do here? I was wondering the same thing. Like what? Well, I'm not sure. Maybe uh, contact the WSB, get them to issue a statement in Grant's defense. That's very generous of you to offer. Do you think that would help any? No, I don't think so. Not unless the WSB could prove that I completed my pre-med courses. But surely the support alone of such a prestigious organization would be of some help. Well, unfortunately, it's not. The board is going to deal exclusively with facts, Holly. All they're concerned with in that hearing is documented evidence. But look, what if Jake is right here? What if the human element does figure in the decision? Well, then we have a chance, a reasonable one. Well, the board must have realized you can't practice medicine for this long and this well without having the appropriate pre-med training, even if you can't prove it. That would seem obvious, wouldn't it? I mean, you don't learn to be an orthopedist by ESP. Here, here. Jake, look. Couldn't I at least be a character witness for Grant? Well, we'll see what happens. I think that might work out. That I'd like to hear. But then it wouldn't be the first time our illustrious police commissioner has used his considerable influence to help this spy now, would it? And if it wasn't for Scorpio, Andre Chernin wouldn't have been allowed to remain in this country, much less practice medicine. Isn't that true, Mr. Chernin? Oh, and while we're on the subject, how is it that you can continually keep using Grant Putnam's name? Glad to see all of you, too. Well, this is a respectable place. What are you doing here? Haven't you read the papers? Lebanon is not a very healthy place to be right now. Never bothered you before. I guess I'm mellowing in my old age. Besides, I, I had already finished my story, so here I am, and I'm back on the paper. I'm sure you'll all be overjoyed to know. How fortunate for poor child. You know, I, I almost wish I hadn't been stationed so far across the world. Apparently not far enough. I mean, as hot as it was in Beirut, sleepy little poor Chuck was just blazing. I mean, who would have ever guessed that our own Dr. Grant Putnam was leading a double life? Stop. Doctor yeah, by day, yet spy by night. Get off it, Jackie. Don't give her that benefit. Come on, I'm just getting hot. You know what really galls me? Not being able to personally distort the story yourself? Oh, low blow. Not quite exactly how I would have put it, but that is the general idea. 
because I was on to you long before anyone else in this town. Congratulations. If I would have stayed around, I would have had that story blown wide open way before anyone else. Hmm. And probably we would have lost additional lives, not to mention the disc itself, which would never have been recovered. You give me far too much credit. The power of the press. Well, that's all under the bridge. The important thing is that I'm back. Picking up where you left off. Without a doubt. Your story's far from over. Are you finished? Let's hope so. You know, I just find it so fascinating how buddy-buddy the police commissioner can be with a spy. I mean, you don't hear that every day. That's very newsworthy. Leave these people alone. Not on your life, Counselor. Well, I've lost my appetite. Mm, I know the feeling. So tell me, Chernin, have you heard from the DVX these days? But if you really did blow the whistle on them, they're not going to let you go without returning the favor. Has your good friend here, the commissioner, offered you any protection? Not that it would do you any good. Or has he taken it upon himself to do the job? Sort of a personal favor. Why don't we all go somewhere else? The sooner the better. Can't something be done about her? I'd dearly like to see you try. Sure. Martha, put all these things on my account, will you? Mind sure you? thing. So nice of you. Commissioner takes a spy out to dinner. The taxpayers pick up the check. I wonder what they would think if they knew that. I'm going to tell you this just once. When you say that. Get off it, Jackie. The guy is trying to start a new life. Aren't we all? He's suffered long enough. I'm not going to have you badgering him. Is that a warning, Commissioner? It's my personal guarantee. Go and practice your yellow journalism somewhere else. The story's finished. Not by a long shot.